All right, all right, folks. Seeing a little bit of a pump today. Actually, we we're a little bit higher just five minutes ago, but um, looks like the Fed said they're going to be keeping interest rates high for the next little bit, probably next few months. So Bitcoin just dropped about $100 in about the last five minutes, and stocks have turned red. But the interesting thing about today is, and what I want everybody to get out, get out from what's happened the last day with this pump is look how much a lot of these altcoin pumps you know bnb went back up to 260 cardano was at 27 cents now we just had a little bit of a pullback but cardano is, cardano is one of the biggest pumpers today for non-shit coins it was up six percent just like like i said 20 minutes ago <clears throat> Um, you know, AVAX is up, and pretty much every altcoin is pretty much up. Cardano or a Theta was back up to 75 cents, 76 cents. And of course, now we're seeing a little bit of a pullback because of the whole stock situation. But it goes to show, folks, how quickly things can pump. You know, Cardano was down to 23 cents just a few days ago, then it goes right back up to 27 cents. I think we're near a bottom. Um, you know, doesn't mean, you know, we're not going to see a 15 or 20 cent Cardano for sure. But even if we do see a 15 cent, a 15 cent cardano we could be right back up to 30 cents a day later so it's you know scalping for good deals right now is great but you got to make sure you have skin in the game and that's pretty much what i've been trying to nail home to everybody uh can cardano hit a dollar in 2023 i think for sure i mean i think i think we'll probably see a two dollar cardano at some point in 2023 uh probably towards the end uh, you know down more than 80 percent in 2022 cardano will need a major breakout in order to reach a dollar and cardano will probably just end up following bitcoin and then you're just going to see all coins absolutely rock and roll. And then people are going to see a lot of good news coming out with Cardano towards, you know, the middle uh, middle of 2023. There's going to be a lot of DeFi news. Uh, we got the stable coin coming out for Cardano. And I think a dollar is almost a guarantee for Cardano. And minimally, like I said, I'm thinking $2, um, you know, at some point in 2023. more Probably more towards the middle or the end. And, um, you know, probably go to $2 and back down to a dollar, maybe back down to 75 cents and back up to $2 and we'll hang out there for a while. And then we'll get that major pump going back up to all time, all time highs going into the happening. But I think it's going to happen. You got a lot, a lot going on with Cardano this year. DeFi is going to be big with Cardano. A lot of these developers are leaving these scammy projects that went under <clears throat> like Luna, UST. Um, a lot of people have left Solana and they're looking at Cardano. Even a lot of, unfortunately, the venture capitalists are looking are going to be looking at their next big thing they can get into. And I think that will be Cardano. So lots of good stuff on the on the uh, on the rise for Cardano. Like I said, the largest cryptocurrency climb the climb today was pretty much Cardano. It was up six percent um, just you know like twenty minutes ago. Down a little bit now, but. Like I said, folks, that's how you know you're getting near a bottom. You know, when the when these when you see these altcoins pumping hard, that means you know these bottom ranges are not going to last forever. <laughs> All right, talk a little about Coinbase. You know, Coinbase just settled a hundred million dollar settlement. Apparently, they were um, they weren't doing the KYC properly in New York. They were letting people um, join Coinbase without doing proper background investigations. Of course, as you guys know, New York is one of the toughest places to operate a crypto exchange. And they basically, you know, here it is right here. New York uh, regulators reported that Coinbase allowed customers to open accounts without conducting sufficient background checks, a violation of the AML requirements under the state's licensing regime. So they had to pay $100 million and then they're going to like work with... Uh, <clears throat> work with uh, the state of New York to make sure it doesn't happen again. Not a big deal. $100 million <laughs> dropping a bucket the coin, a Coinbase, but they did pay out that fine today. All righty. Now, like I just said, the stocks were up, but now the Fed has decided, or they've, they've said that they're going to see higher interest rates for some time, and they have to go that route. I mean, I think it's going to be probably for the next six months. Um, you know, at least the next three months, you're going to see like that 25, 50%, 50 uh, rate hike. But after that, I think we're going to see that pivot. And that's when the stock market and crypto is going to go absolutely crazy. And I think it's going to time just perfectly for that Bitcoin happening. So I'm very, very excited. It's almost like you can't make this stuff up. Like, it's like, wow, like the timing is really that perfect. Bear market, the same time as, as Fed raising interest rates. And they'll probably come out of it right near the happening. Sounds good to me. But, you know, they have to do this to keep if they if they pivot right now fully, 
interest rates are just going to go right back up. It's like they, they just can't do it. It'd just be reckless. So I expect at least another three to six months, probably six months of this, um, maybe like three or four months, you'll see them really starting to say, there's the starting to put the word out that they're going to basically pivot pretty soon. But once that pivot, ha pivot happens, folks, the stock market is going to go crazy. <clears throat> Gold's going to go crazy, uh, and crypto, Bitcoin, is going to go absolutely crazy. That's my story, and I'm sticking uh, to it. <laughs> I was about to... So, um, there was some news the other day that Sam Bakeman freed. Um, when he got out on bail, all these Alameda wallets became active, um, and... You know, like a couple million dollars was transferred. A lot of people speculated that Sam Bakeman freed. It absolutely could be. Um, but Sam Bakeman freed has denied these allegations. He says, this is not me. And he says, I, you know, I'm not and I couldn't be moving any of these funds. I don't have access to them. Um, I was about to respond like, I believe you, but my Tommy, my Tommy gun don't <laughs> remember from Home Alone. Um, I don't believe anything this guy says, but I actually don't probably think it wasn't him. But I wouldn't be surprised if he put somebody up to it. So whoever gave him that bail money, you know, that $250 million bail, he's got some big players with a lot of money helping him out right now. Most likely people that um, they need, they don't want Sam Bakeman freed ratting on them. So they're helping Sam Bakeman freed out. But I, I 100%, you see, like I said, none of these are me, but he, you know, he's not saying he didn't really, he doesn't know who did it. So he definitely knows who did it in my opinion, but, uh, nobody believes him. If you look at the comments, nobody, nobody really believes him. Anyway, folks, that's pretty much, let's check the market one more time. And yeah, pretty much where we were. I don't know. Now that the stock market pretty much has turned because of that news, maybe we'll see Bitcoin go back down to like 16,700, something like that. But like I said, folks, the point for today is look how quickly these altcoins can go up. It's not unusual to see an altcoin go up 6%, uh, 10%. We saw Solana when some money got poured back into it, went up 20%. Now Solana's kind of hovering out back down to $13. Like I said yesterday, when Solana was almost $14, I wouldn't be touching this with a 10 foot, with a 10 foot pole after a 20% dump. And of course, I don't like Solana to begin with, but it just goes to show things can pump, things can turn on a dime. In crypto, everything can be miserable. You can turn off your computer, open it up the next day, and it's like a whole new world. So I like I always say, for me, I'm just trying to get the cheapest price as possible on these coins by good quality projects. And like I said, I bought, some, I bought some Cardano at 25 cents. Now we're back up to 27 cents. And if we go down to 20 cents, I'll buy some more there. Same with Theta. I bought a ton at 75 cents. 50 cents is my, ne my next buy level for Theta. Um, but we might not get there because, you know, things don't go down forever, folks. Things don't go down forever. All right, folks, like and subscribe and have a good day.